Hey everybody, Mrs. Vance here, and I want to show you this website. It's called scratch.mit.edu. It's a really great social networking school website that allows you to create your own video games, animations, and um, code art. But we're going to focus this week on Mario Maker. Uh, you all have been working on designing your levels on paper and pencil, using pro tips and looking at Mario levels that have been really good throughout the years. So we're going to put that research to work today. All right, so this link you can see in your Google Classroom. I'm just going to give you a little tutorial on how to make a level, how to save the code, and how to share it so that we can all be testers of our classmates' levels. All right, so the first thing we do is we click this green flag. You can click it here or you can click it up here. So we're going to click the green flag. Now, this was made by Benjamin Wins 11. Benjamin Wins 11 is a really huge Mario fan. He has recreated a bunch of different Mario games, and this Mario Maker is very superior to the others. The first thing you want to do is make a level. We don't have a code yet to load our level, so we're going to make our level, and then we're going to get our code uh, so that we could share it with our friends. All right, so you see up here all the different blocks. You can tell these are different land blocks. Uh, then we have tubes. Then we have platformer blocks. Uh, why am I calling them blocks? We know them as tiles, so we're going to use the word tiles. That's our vocabulary. Um, we have more tube tiles, and then we have some sprites, bad guy sprites, little fireball sprites, um, and then we have our buffs, right? Our little bonuses. So we're going to get started by just testing out all these different blocks. Now uh, we can see we can make a whole floor here, or we can make uh, just a platform. You use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move up, down, back, and forth. You can see here's the end, but as you can read, it says, you can build past here and it will snap to the last solid block. So as your platforms move, so will those, um, that end screen. All right, so that looks like sand. That's a cool little sand platform. And then we have some grass or hillside, we got a little hillside platform. Let's make it a little bit more challenging. Some of the pro tips were to make it a little bit more challenging as you go along, but not too scary because this is just our first level. And reward people with bonuses. Let's see, we have coins, gotta love coins. Add some coins. Now let's add some bad guys. I think I'll add some spinies. Ooh, spinies are scary. And then some Goombas. Let's see. We'll get a couple of these guys in here. Oh, I never gave myself a mushroom. I'm totally going to die if I don't give myself a big at some point in this level. That'll be a fun place for a big. All right, anything else? I want you guys to play with a lot of these different features, especially the tubes. Um, I, I was not very successful in getting the tubes, but Mr. Vance was, so we'll see how that goes. I want to see what you guys can create. All right, now that I think I'm done with my level, I have my end screen, it ends at the end of my platforms, I've got some buffs, I've got some bad guys, I got some challenging jumps, I um, think I'm going to save, but wait a minute, I think this might be too challenging, so let me show you how to erase. Let's say you make something and you don't really quite like it. Down here at the bottom, we have the pen eraser switch E, right? So you can uh, tap E to use it, or you can click. Now, when you tap E or click, you can erase stuff. So I'm going to erase this middle Goomba. All right, maybe I'll make my platform a little thinner. So I can erase anything that I put down. Just have to remember that 
when I come back, see how I can't put anything down? I'm clicking, nothing's going down because my eraser tool is still used. So I can click it or I could tap E and now I can put stuff down again. All right, I think that's all the features. I can change the background. Here's the background changer. So if I don't like this background, I can do this hill background. Ooh, that looks like a Bowser's Castle background, the uh, pyramid background, water. I wonder if it'll make me swim. Uh, castle, what is this? The spooky house, right? The boo house. Underground, clouds. That one's kind of cool. I like that one. And then I could test it. So we have play from the start. All right. Oh, oh, there we go. Now the up arrow is jump and the arrows back and forth. That's how you move. Oh no. I did it. That was a hard jump. Come on, star. Nah, mushroom. All right. Well, that was pretty good. I like it. I um, I don't think there's anything I can change, but maybe, maybe another like a star will help me kill some of these bad guys. Like I almost died and I got shrunk over here. So what if I put a star? That'll be fun. So I can kill these last couple guys. And then um, it seems really spooky, so maybe what I'll do is I'll add a final boss. So after you're done testing your level, you can come back and change it. Just make sure you resave the code. I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, let's do final boss. All right, cool. So I'm going to save it. Now here, read the directions as you go. Enter level name. Okay, so let's just call this um, my final boss level and hit the check mark. Click. It says here, keep clicking the code quickly until it all highlights, then right click it and copy. Do not post your code in the comments. So I'll show you guys where I want you to post your code so that we can test each other's levels. Now, when I clicked it really fast, like it said, you see it got a little darker, right? Control C to copy it, right? Or they say right click. So you could right click it. When I right click, you see this, uh, box comes up ask me to copy so both control C or right click copy and then paste it here control V or right click paste and then click the arrow to see if it works it says code copy correctly you can share it in the forum topic in the notes okay so um, let's see what that looks like let's stop this by hitting the stop sign at the top and then we're going to play again by hitting the green flag, right? So this time, instead of starting a new level, we're going to load a level. I'm gonna paste the code that I just created. Final boss by, I'm not really sure where to put my name. <gasps> I forgot to jump. I always wanna hit the space bar. Okay, yay, we did it. And you guys can see it's the same exact level so this is how you guys are going to test each other's levels because you're going to share that code. Ah, got me again. Share that code with each other and play each other's levels and then give each other feedback and make your levels better. Uh. All right. So if I go to make level, can I edit my level, make it better? That's one thing I want to try to figure out. How do I, oh, I'm back. I'm back. All right. So I, I took a break to figure out if you can um, edit a level after receiving feedback from your classmates and I figured it out. So when you're on the startup screen for this link, uh, we hit the green flag to start our new game. You're going to put, click load level, just like we did, paste the level code, hit the check mark. Now when you're in here, instead of playing it, hit the space bar. 
Now, once you hit the space bar, you see that you have all the characters again. Um, somebody could have given me some feedback about moving that, um, I don't know. What is the uh, shell guy name? Not the spiny. The spiny, I like the spiny. Spiny's in a good spot. But there's another guy over here that's always getting me. This uh, turtle guy right here. I'm going to erase him. My Koopa Troopa, that's it. I'm going to get rid of him, but I still want it to be challenging, so maybe I will put a different Koopa Troopa here. Oh, am I in eraser again? Always remember to put your eraser off when you're done using it. So this will be fun with my star, if I get my star. But I always get shrunk right here, so I'll get my star, and then I will get this guy ting, 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 and then this guy here. I wish they had the flying ones. I'd have the flying ones come up. But I don't see them. Anyway, so I just made my edit by hitting spacebar after loading the code. And then I can test it out again by testing this level. And you guys all know what that looks like. So spacebar to get out of that. Now I'm going to save this code because I changed something. My code changes, right? check mark double click right click copy or control C re-enter to see if it works this is the important part this is how you um, show us that you did your work and share your work with everybody else